The Joker. Seems about right. <sighs> Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. Well, here we are, old girl. Your best flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. Damn, I was right. Pipes froze up again. when you need it. Great Bear Island. Dad used to fly there all the time. He said it used to be beautiful. Not much reason to go there these days, since the quakes and all. Pretty late in the day. I guess I could take a nap. <clears throat> Who could that be? Jackrabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. For what will you not be so damn Whoa, well, well, slow down, Maureen. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know, but you need the money. The weather service... It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh... What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. 
Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad, when it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost, all because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not... Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Let's see. Two people, plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Astrid's traveling pretty light. The mysterious case. Astrid's a doctor, so we're covered with water. The distress pistol kit is heavy, but... I'd hate to end up in an emergency situation without it. needing my parka this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year.
need to grab my parka and we can go. Must have gone right through the windshield. Trees broke my fall. Oh, mostly. some place to escape this cold. I don't feel so good. I need to rest up.
could probably climb that. Astrid hasn't come looking for me, which means she can't come looking for me, because she's hurt, or worse. I'd better get back up to the crash site. Thirsty. Make it. Plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Astrid's pack. in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. She definitely passed through here. And in a hurry.
Someone's been here recently. Could it have been Astrid? Looks like some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. Reason. Look, smoke from that chimney. That means someone's home. Hello? Anyone out there? What happened here? This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Hello? Anybody here? Hey. Hey, wake up. Holy <laughs> shit! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. O okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So. Must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Uh, listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? <sighs> you think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought.
name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name, once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. You should call me Grey Mother also. Sitting here with a rifle in your hand. Are you expecting trouble? Trouble? <laughs> trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> They were wrong. Who are the bad men? The men, they... they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the lights. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught? By these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. 